Yeah. Hey, what's up, Papa? What's meningitis? Oh, so meningitis is uh, inflammation of the meninges. Of the, there's a very thin but very fibrous and tough membrane that surrounds the brain, and it's like white, yellowish color, and that's called the meninges. And there's three layers: the uh, dura matter, the arachnoid, and the pia matter, right? But what you have to know about meningitis is that it's usually caused by a bacteria or by a virus. And that bacteria, the virus, that pathogen enters the system and it starts inflaming that membrane. And because that membrane covers the entire brain and spinal cord, you'll have inflammation throughout the whole segment of the meninges, meaning the brain, the covering of the brain and the spinal cord. Um, one of the basic signs and symptoms that you'll see with meningitis is like photophobia, an ultra level of consciousness, and of course, any indication of a fever of infection. But to be specific, when somebody has meningitis, um, as the infection progresses, you're going to have these specific um, autonomic, uh, not reflexes, but these autonomic um, uh, issues where you have something called Brzezinski sign and something called Koenig sign. So you'll lay the patient flat. And if you flex the patient's head, the nurse, the practitioner will flex the patient's head. Both their legs will also flex without the patient wanting them to. And that's called Brzezinski sign. And then you can also have the patient lean on his or her back. You can um, go ahead and lift up the leg. And as you try to extend it, the patient's going to have a hard time extending it. And that calls, it's called Koenig sign. And those two are indications that the patient is going to, uh, de is developing meningitis. Okay. Well, thanks, Dad.